What's up, people? Welcome to today's session. I hope that a lot of you guys are doing good. My name is Anup, and this here is the second session of Human Eye and the Colorful World. And today, people, we're going to look into something very interesting that is nothing but dispersion of light through a prism. And it's a very interesting topic. And most importantly, people, you've actually studied this topic in your past. So it's going to be a very easy session. Pay attention for the next 20, 30 minutes and trust me guys, you're going to walk away with all the important concept that is pertaining to this particular topic. So once again, my name is Anup and a very warm welcome people. With that said, let's get into the code for today. And the code for today is this guys, tongue has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. Now at this point of time, people, there are a lot of distractions that uh, you guys will face. I know that. Every teacher knows that because we've all been through that. Now, what's more important is that you guys understand what is more important right now because you are given that choice. But yes, be the smarter one, choose what's right, and you know, eventually you'll understand that what you chose would be the you know right thing that you did. All right. So again. It's not going to be me or it's not going to be your parents who's going to tell that. It's going to be time that is going to teach you what is right and what is wrong. So make smart choices. All the very best for your exams as well. With that said, let's get into the topic for today. So like I told you guys, today we'll be looking into dispersion through a prism. It's a very simple concept. So let's get into it without wasting any more time. But before that, this was the homework that was there in the last session, which is the angle between the inclined sides of the prism or what is the angle called as and the answer to that question is no doubt it's called as the angle of prism so if this is the prism this angle between the two inclined sides is what is called as the angle of prism so with that said let's get into the topic now this what the thing that you see over here this is called as newton's disc so guess who made it no doubt it was sir isaac newton itself now this disc basically contains the seven prominent colors that you know, which is nothing but a geo. Now, notice that when the disc starts to rotate at a higher speed, the disc almost becomes whitish in color. Right? Have you wondered what is the possible reason for it? Now, the reason why this happens is people, white light is actually a combination of so many different colors. There are, you know, so many different colors when you talk about white light. Now, these are the seven prominent colors, your WebGR, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And when you start, when because light travels at that high speed, because you know that light travels at a speed of 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, and because it's traveling at that high speed, we don't see those different colors. We see it as white light. And that is what this disc proves, that white light is not exactly white, but it's actually a combination of so many different colors, which makes it appears like white. Now, the question is, how do you prove that white light is actually a combination of so many different colors? How do you split that white light and show or prove that white light is a combination of so many different colors? And the answer, a prism, people. All you got to do is take a prism and pass white light through it. Now, the thing about prism is that it's a denser medium. So since light is traveling from air into glass, so this is air and this is glass, since light is traveling from air into glass, refraction would definitely happen and because of that refraction what happens is people every color has its own wavelength and because it has its own wavelength what happens is that that white light gets split into seven prominent colors so this phenomenon of splitting white light into seven prominent colors is what is called as the dispersion of light and prism is one of the best examples which actually shows the dispersion of light in a very very beautiful manner now when dispersion happens because different wavelengths of light travel at basically uh, you know are basically uh, it travels at different speed in different mediums what happens is that since red light has the highest wavelength it refracts the least violet on the other hand has the least wavelength and hence refracts the most and that's why you you are able to see this uh, you know this this beautiful rainbow color that you see which is nothing but your vib g or a vib cure how you want to pronounce it as now the thing about this people was that this was actually discovered by Isaac Newton right this is what is called as dispersion but people did not believe 
that it is actually the light. People believe that it's the prism that is actually doing it. So for a very long time, there was this conversation going on in the scientific community. That's, you know, I'm talking about uh, uh, hundreds, and, uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So there was this very big conflict going on, whether it's actually light or whether it's a prism. And majority of them believe that it's actually the prism that is actually doing it. So then Isaac Newton went on to prove that it's now not the prism, but instead it is actually the light, which is actually a combination of seven different colors. And how do you do it? All with a very simple example. So what he did was he took two different prism and kept one, basically one of them was uh, was you know the base of it was this way and the other had a base that was basically on the, on the top and he allowed the white light to pass through it. Now if it was the prism what should have happened was basically what would happen is that it would, this would actually get split into seven different colors and then what would happen, happen is that when it goes into this prism again it would have gotten you know basically diverged even further and got dispersed out. But then what Isaac Newton uh, showed the people was that when white light passes through a prism which is basically inverted the the light that gets split in the first prism the light that gets dispersed in the first prism as it enters into the second prism gets recombined and comes out as white light not as the seven different colors but instead it comes out as white light and this definitely proved that it's not the prism but it's the white light which is actually a combination of seven different colors because again if it was a prism the second prism would have actually dispersed it even further, but that did not happen. It recombined it and passed it out as white light. And this is how he proved the scientific community beyond a speck of doubt that it's actually the light that is actually a combination of seven different colors. So in conclusion, people, what is it, did we see so far? Like I told you, the topic was very small, but again, it's a revision and it's a very important topic as well. So pay attention again. So what do we see so far? This version is a process of splitting white light into its seven, uh, seven constant colors or into its prominent colors. And also, if you have two prisms which are in the opposite orientation, basically negates dispersion in the sense it reverses what the first prism does. And yes, people, that is pretty much it for today's session. Now, if you want to have such amazing sessions with 100% knowledge, with 100% uh, to gain 100% marks as well. And if you want to be a part of us, all you got to do is click on the link that is given in the description below. It'll also be in the pin uh, section as well. All you got to pin comment section. Just click on that link and you can enroll into the courses. Now, these courses have the best of the best quizzes in every single level session. At the highest level of quizzes with unlimited live classes, you can attend how many of your live classes you want. It's totally up to you people. And you can compete with the rest of the world because you'll not just have students from your state or your country. In fact, the entire uh, in, in fact, the entire world. So you can compete with the world and check where you're really standing. And other than this, people, you can also have interactive replay sessions. So if in case you miss out a session, don't worry about it. You can still take part in the quiz and still get your names on the leaderboards as well. And also you can download all the premium content of every single session without any, any problems and all the handwritten notes of every single sessions as well. And people, the best part, if you ask me, is the class teacher. So you will have the class teacher inside the class, not just the master teacher. You'll have the class teacher as well to clear all your doubts inside the class as well. All of this and 5,000 plus micro courses and crash courses for free if you enroll into the pro subscription course. Again, the link is given in the description below. All you gotta do is click on that link and choose your grade and your uh, syllabus as well, CBC, ICC, or Maharashtra syllabus. Go on, choose it, and this is all you're gonna get, people. All of this for basically, you're gonna get a lot, a ton more of all of these with very, very lesser price as well. Again, the coupon code, if you wanna uh, you know, get the discount as well, is AME Pro, that's my discount coupon, AME Pro. So the link is given in the description. It's also in the pin comment section as well. And again, the code is AME Pro to avail your discounts as well. So if you go for the one month program, people, including the discounted price, that is, if you enter the coupon code AME Pro, you will get a discounted price of 2,159. And if you go for the three month subscription, it's around 5,599. But think about it, people, for 2,000, rupees 2,159 rupees you're actually going to be attending about 200 classes in one month roughly that's a minimum number and if you do so you're roughly paying about 11 rupees per session and if you go for the 5,599 that is basically your three month subscription you'll be you would have attended a minimum of 600 sessions a minimum of 600 sessions that's a bare minimum and in that basically you'll be paying about nine rupees per session and all of that people 
at the cost of less than what you paid for lease. So again, it's for your own future to secure your future, to secure your percentage. The link is given in the description. Again, the code is AME Pro. So with that said, people, let's get into the questions now. I hope you guys are ready for it because the next quad, the next thing that we're going to do is basically solve some questions. So be prepared. Here's your first question on your screens right now. The splitting of white light into different colors on passing through a prism is called as what? Is it called as refraction, reflection, dispersion, or deviation? What is the splitting of white light into its constituent colors called as? And the answer, you know, people, I know that you know it. I know that you know that. You also know that you know it. It is nothing but dispersion itself. Dispersion is the splitting of white light into seven constituent colors. Second question, when white light in enters a prism, it gets split into its constituent colors. This is due to what? Different refractive index for different wavelength of, of each color. Each color has same velocity in prism. Prism material has different density or higher density or scattering of light. Why do you see that spectrum of light? What is the reason for it? And the answer to this question is, is actually option number A. Like I told you, because different wavelengths have different speeds. So the one which has a higher wavelength would travel much more faster. So it will have less, lesser refraction. So basically it'll have lesser refractive index. And on the other hand, if you talk about a color which has a low wavelength, like in the case of a violet, it would refract even more further. That means the refractive index is more for that wavelength. And hence you see that it'll be at the lower end of that spectrum. So that is the answer, people. Moving on to the third question. That's a very interesting question, a very important one as well. Moving on to the third one. After refraction from prism, dash color deviates the most and dash color deviates the least. Red and violet, violet and red, blue and red are blue and uh, red and blue. What do you think is the right answer, people? Let me know in the comment section. The answer to this question, after refraction from prism, dash color deviates, deviates the most. It is violet that deviates the most and red is the one that deviates the least. Because again, red has the highest wavelength, violet on the hand has the least so that is the answer. Moving on to your homework question for today. Let me know what is the answer in the comment section below. The homework question is, when spectrum of light passes through the second prism, the colors combine to form dash light. A very, very simple question. Let me know and let me know if you guys were paying attention for the question as well. So yeah, guys, again, it was a very simple topic. But then again, a very important one as well. Very important one to revise before your pre-boards and your board exams. So once again, all the very best for your exams. Do well. All the very best. All, all the very best for your exams. Do well. Rock it, people. Thank you for joining. And yeah, yes, guys, if you want to go for the NTSC preparation, those are the links for your NTSC preparation. You get a 90% discount on that as well. So you'll be paying about $9.99 for the NTSC preparation. And for the mock test paper, you'll be paying about 99 rupees. You have a 90% discount on that as well. You can take a screenshot and enroll into this course if you want to. You also have the YouTube channel which is obviously free of course. So it's vdnt.in slash vos. You can um, you know subscribe to the channel and learn for free as well. Again the link for the pro subscription course again like everything that I told you 5000 plus micro courses and all of the thing that I just told you is given in the description below and the coupon code is AME Pro. Right, people? So that's it from my side. Thank you for joining. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Obviously, yes, people, subscribe and like. That gives us a lot of joy. That is what gives us happiness. Let us know how the session was in the comment section below. And if you want to reach out to me, anup.manhol at the rate is my email ID. Thank you for joining. See you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye. See you all next. Take care.